This is our model of the stomach. The stomach has a J-shaped appearance to it with several regions. We have four regions, the cardia, the fundus, the body, and the pylorus. If you look at the outside structures here, what you're seeing on this model are the muscular layers. So there is a longitudinal layer that you can see here. Wrapping around, there's a circular layer. Deep to that, there is an oblique layer. So longitudinal is superficial, circular is middle, and the oblique layer is deep. What you'll also notice, superficial to all of that, is the serosa. So the serosa has the blood vessels embedded in it. You can also see these yellow lines, which are detailed here. This is part of cranial nerve number 10, our vagus nerve. So the left branch of the vagus nerve comes, and if you follow these yellow lines, innervates the anterior side of the stomach. The right branch of the vagus nerve innervates the posterior side of the stomach. There is a lesser curvature on the posterior side. There is a greater curvature. If we remove this so we see what's happening on the inside. The esophagus comes down. This is the esophageal sphincter or the cardiac sphincter. It's the same structure but two different terms. This leads into the cardiac orifice. This is the opening that goes into the stomach. Again, our fundus, body, and pylorus. What you'll notice here are three different layers of tissue. We have the muscularis, the submucosa, and the mucosa. That oblique layer that I showed you earlier, this is the only part of the digestive system that has an oblique layer to it. Inside, you'll see the rugae. The rugae are these gastric folds that allow for expansion. This is not absorption. Absorption takes place elsewhere in the digestive system, but when you, when you eat a large meal or drink a lot of liquid, the stomach has the ability to increase in size. So expansion is allowed by these rugae or gastric folds. As we come all the way through and pass the pylorus, we go into the pyloric sphincter or the duodenal sphincter because the duodenum is the beginning of the next segment.